I have got a treat for you because we're going to go to the United States of America uh, and we're going to speak with Charlotte Edwards, the Assistant Technology and Science Editor at The Sun in the US of A because guess what? The Pentagon have announced a new website that it claims will contain new UFO-related information in a bid to be more transparent with the public about the search for alien life. So forget about the Roswell incident. Now, if something like that happened, you'd see it on a website. Charlotte, a very, very good uh, morning to you. Good afternoon uh, to us here. Good afternoon, Mike. How are you? Yeah, very well indeed. So they've set up this office called Arrow, uh, which stands for the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, right? I mean, why this sudden interest in alien life form? Is it because American politics is so weird? I think because there's been such a push for NASA and the American government to be more transparent with how they're dealing with UFOs, or as they're called now, UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomenon. Right. Um, because more and more people are spotting things, and there's been declassified documents saying that US officials have spotted strange, mysterious objects in the sky. Mm. I love those videos that we've already seen in conferences and now on that website that you just mentioned, but more is to come. Oh, interesting. And also, the James Webb Space Telescope is, is up there now, and rather like the Hubble, it's kind of uh, got people thinking and got people talking because the question I saw somebody ask was, well, what would happen if the James Webb Space Telescope actually captured something which looks like another civilization. That's incredible, isn't it? Yes, I recently spoke to a NASA scientist, Dr. Michelle Thaler, about that exact scenario. And she said NASA have had secret conferences about what they will do if the James Webb Space Telescope does spot something like evidence of alien life on another planet. She said if they find a planet around another star with evidence of man-made things like pollution, they're going to have to come up with a good way to tell the public what they found because it would be such shocking news for us all. Wow. And so, I mean, is it right what I said at the beginning of this segment, which is that if there was something like the Roswell incident where uh, the the allegation anyway is that uh, an American um, uh, base based down in Nevada somehow captured uh, an alien spaceship, found some kind of creature inside it, took the creature out uh, and sort of examined it and autopsied it and did all sorts of things with it. If that did happen now, then we would see it all on live TV. Well, I would like to think so, but all the documents <laughs> and videos that go on this website have been approved for the public. So although they are being more transparent, it's not full transparency. Mm. Some things will be kept a secret until the government believes that the US public are ready to see them. Yeah, and there were a series of hearings, you alluded to them earlier, uh, where there was one particular uh, witness I remember talking about how, you know, um, what he, I can't remember the phrase that he used, but it was something like, you know, non-human life forms or something like that, and were definitely spotted by somebody uh, in a situation, uh, you know, like piloting a craft of some kind. Yeah, there have been plenty of claims, especially from US officials themselves that said they've seen these things, and it's been denied that we have hard evidence of those non-alien life forms on Earth at the moment, but hopefully this website will make things more clear and we'll learn more about what the US government actually knows about alien life yeah. and UAP. And I mean, NASA is one of those, I mean, you've been at a couple of launches down there at Cape uh, Canaveral, Cape Kennedy. I mean, NASA is a, is a business that sometimes gets funding from the government and sometimes doesn't. Is it currently sort of in a good place with the, with the Biden administration? Is it getting plenty of funding? more so than it has in the past so we're expecting artemis 2 which will take four humans to the moon just fly them around the moon next year although i am hearing that that might be pushed to 2025 now early 2025 right. so it does have funding to go out and explore space which is good because in previous governments it hasn't had as much money to do so yeah exactly right and and so i mean have they have they got a sort of department yet in government in the us which is going to monitor all of this or does it does it come under the department of defense i suppose so this new website, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, is actually the office that's looking into this, as well as a few other sectors, and they're going to put that, the information that they find on their website. So there are a few different sectors looking into it, as well as NASA, even the European Space Agency as well. And apparently Japan is a hot spot, according to this new website, uh, for spotting UFOs. Um, I wonder why that would be. Apparently so, I'm not sure. There's a lot of footage from all over the world. They have clips from South Asia that you may have seen before. They were released 
by NASA last year, and they have lots of different videos. It's a website that's worth looking at if you're into aliens or alien life. It's, it's quite interesting. Okay. And so uh, can you give us the actual website um, name so we can find it? Yeah, so you would type in aaro.military and right. it should come up. That doesn't sound like something I want to put into my computer. <laughs> aaro.military. You'd think, you know, suddenly they get the Russian hackers will be all over you like a rash. Well, I would hope not. Maybe you could try all domain anomaly resolution office. If yeah. That feels safe. Okay. Well, watch the skies, I guess, as they say, because uh, are there any more scheduled hearings down in Washington for any of this stuff? Not that I'm hearing, but if there are, I will come back to you. Yes, I think you should definitely consider yourself the alien correspondent for the Independent Republic because uh, we're always on the lookout for aliens uh, and indeed any sort of uh, uh, invasion force that might be in some way wishing to do us any ill. You never know which way they come, do you? Sometimes. We, we don't know. No, exactly right. Charlotte, listen, great to talk to you. Thanks very much indeed. Charlotte Edwards, Assistant Technology and Science Editor at The Sun uh, in the United States of America there in New York City.